So I titled this conversation about post merch post merge trends and adoption because one, it's it's just like an interesting topic. It it's a mixture of speculation, financial trends, it's it taps into like what the core technology does, maybe how it's different. It's it's very closely tied to like investing theses. You know, if you're bullish in this market, what what is the current trend or what are the narratives behind this trend that we've most recently been seeing in prices and all that sort of stuff. But is it is it here to last? Uh, is there a, enough support beyond this initial like rush up to like, you know, September to keep things going? Or is this kind of like a, a short hype cycle when people realize my my ETH doesn't unlock for another six to 12 months? That there's this this merge hype concept that we've been talking about. I mean, pretty much as long as I can remember, probably four years or more at this point, at least. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's seven years in the making, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much always been there. Um, <laughs> and uh, it is, I mean, it's the ultimate meme at this point. Like, <laughs> it's it's basically been around since I've been started in the uh, in the industry. So, yeah, six seven years. I was taking a look at some Reddit threads from even two months ago, like this two months ago. So this is in the summer and people are still debating. Yeah. They said it's going to happen in Q3. Not no chance. They've been talking about it for so long. There's no, no way. <laughs> so <laughs> the fact that it's finally here, it's just kind of like uh, the dragons in game of Thrones. We're, we're finally getting what we deserve, you know, <laughs> but only partially, you know, I find that really interesting about, about this merge. It's a, it's a massive step towards you know the end goal of, of ethereum but two steps after that that really unlock what is possible here you know this sets the foundation for you know as you said mitch you know unlocking um any of that locked up ethereum um and also bringing gas prices down but you know what's interesting to me is is six months and 12 months from now when hopefully not seven years per i guess kpi on the roadmap to actually deliver what ethereum sh should be yeah i think um to your question about where you know what, what is the momentum like i think um it's, it's really hard to say and it's actually probably very path dependent based on uh, kind of macro and the broader crypto uh, flow of funds uh, i think if you look at it closely the market is probably telling you uh, well futures contracts kind of go into, into backwardation now and then kind of indicate they probably will be in contango afterward and that kind of tells me that pro maybe that some part of the market thinks um, that it is kind of like a BTC happening event where it is the spark that kind of brings it back to life. Um, and I know since all of us are so deep in the space, it's hard to tell that things have been quite bearish for <laughs> over like a year now. So, you know, it, it wouldn't be unexpected for us to get some short term or long term momentum right after the merge, given kind of the fundamental factors we're all aware of, the like commission rates changing and uh, kind of the, just the fundamental analysis on staking. That makes it quite attractive to institutional players, especially when they can do it leveraged. Um, and then there's also the, the other side of that, which is um, kind of the bearish macro take and that it's kind of running up into basically like an earnings recession slash corporate recession, an economic kind of slowdown, and that it really is just a bear market pull. And, um, you know, it's it, the market needed a narrative to redeploy all the cash we, we had sitting on the sidelines on the way down. Um, and it, it got that. And it probably will continue to do that up into the merge. Um, and then I'll, there's also a lot of free money on, on the line. Um, as you guys probably know with the futures contracts, um, you can you know pretty much make the FPOW, FPOS spread right now. Um, and everybody loves free money. And in general, crypto's um, hype cycles are around how much free money, quote, free money is available. Um, last time it was kind of, it started with BTC happening, went to yield farming, and you know we all saw sushi swap and all that. This time it's, um, some really intricate plays around um, kind of uh, kind of you or making money on the proof of work F chain, and then also capping the spread, and then also the fundamental analysis of F potentially becoming a better investment going forward. It's a lot to be excited about. Not to say it's anything more than a narrative, but um, so yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm kind I, of split. I kind of I kind of echo that. I'm like I'm juggling this short-term bearishness of the macro headwinds, which are very obvious to everybody. Um, and in the kind of environment we're in, we're going to just run into those. Um, but I do think 
longer term. And this is, I mean, this is, I've changed my opinion on this um, kind of completely 180, but um, Ethereum just becomes much more attractive as an investment post merge um, for all, all the reasons Josh mentioned, but um, specifically kind of around the supply and demand and, um, you know, the user generated activity um, that comes in the form of fees and supply. Um, Wall Street and institutional money love yield. So, um, you know, Bitcoin doesn't produce yield. Bitcoin's really good at, you know, kind of doing its thing. But um, Ethereum could actually, from an economic standpoint, become deflationary. And if that does happen, it is actually a better, um, I guess, mousetrap than Bitcoin at being Bitcoin. So uh, that thesis, I think, is not talked about enough. And I think, you know, we're also deep in the weeds that I think we kind of lose sight. There are a lot of people that are not aware or um, still don't think the merger will happen who are actually intelligent investors. So um, I don't, you know, it's um, kind of mind blowing to be in that camp. But um, all that is to say, I don't necessarily believe it's priced in um, over the long run.